Welcome back gamers to Top 10 Gaming. I'm your host Johnny Rogers. If you happen to be new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button to never miss another video from us. Plus, I want you to comment down below with what your favorite Tom Clancy series game is. Now let's get into today's video of the Top 10 Easter Eggs you missed in The Division 2. We are The Division. And history will remember us. With Division 2 out now, we picked up on some hidden easter eggs that Ubisoft decided to sneak in. In at number 10, Charles B. King. There's another special person put to rest here. The sign above the grave reads Charles B. King, or perhaps better known to players as the Bullet King. First, let's start with some Easter eggs that you may have missed in the cinematic trailer released at E3. As the camera pans into the graveyard, we notice one grave in particular labeled Charles B. King, also known as the Bullet King. He is one of the most iconic enemies known to players in Division, although looks like this will be his only appearance in the second game. He was well known because of a developer oversight that allowed you to kill him multiple times. This resulted in a ton of high-end loot for players that they were able to exploit early on in the game. Division recognized this, and while they patched the mistake, they made a Twitter post bidding farewell to the Bullet King. In at number 9, Upper Echelon Gaming. ...is still as harsh as ever, but as we head into the diner, this is where we see our next one. It's a bit more obvious and spray painted on the car is Upper Echelon Gaming. Next up, spray painted on the side of a car in white paint is the words Upper Echelon Gaming. This is a community of YouTubers and livestream gamers with well over 200,000 subscribers that sure do love their Division 2 tips and tricks. Apparently, Ubisoft supports them with this subtle Easter egg. In at number 8, the Rogue logo. For the washing line, we get to see the Division's iconic Rogue logo printed on the t-shirt above. Love it or hate the DZ, it's what makes the division so unique. As the little girl is running through the safe zone with her paper plane in hand, we see her ducking under a clothesline with a very noticeable Division Rogue logo printed on a shirt. Rogue Division agents are former Division agents who went against the Strategic Homeland Division to either serve another faction or to work on their own. In at number 7, thanks ETF. Moving on, the car here has been made into a makeshift vegetable patch, but the license plate is where we need to look. As it reads, THX3. Now as that little girl runs by a broken down car that was turned into a vegetable garden, you'll notice the license plate reads THX3TF, which also means thanks ETF. The ETF is short for the Division's Elite Task Force. That amalgamation of community members gets an easter egg nod here because they were invited to Ubisoft to provide feedback to the developers which helped shape Division. In at number 6, Ubisoft Star Player. And that's where our first easter egg is because the sticker on the front of the guitar is actually the emblem for Sage. For those who don't know, he streams over on Twitch as well as- This one is pretty difficult to catch and I just want to give a quick shout out to the YouTuber Tally for focusing in and deciphering this easter egg. As the little girl runs through the settlement, you'll notice a man on a radio attempting to find anyone on the other end that's still alive. Propped up next to him is a guitar with a small sticker on the bottom left side. The sticker is the emblem for Sage, a Twitch streamer that Ubisoft recently made one of their star players. Even the guitar itself is a nod to him because not only is he great at video games, but is a terrific musician as well. He even created a song called Lawless for The Division. In at number 5, Developer Souvenirs. Now let's move on to some easter eggs found in the game itself, shall we? In an interview with Game Reactor, they were speaking with Julian Garrity, the creative director for The Division 2, and he shared some very interesting details that there will be some easter eggs for developers. Apparently the developers got together and took some drawings from their children and placed them throughout the game. My parents won't even put mine on the fridge and these kids can say that their macaroni paintings can be found in a Tom Clancy game. How cool is that? He said we put them into the game as souvenirs for ourselves so as soon as you see a child's drawing in the game it's one of the kids of the developers on the team. In at number 4, Pennywise. Ubisoft has shown to have an obsession with the Stephen King character of Pennywise the Clown. Even in Far Cry 5, they would place the red balloons around the map for players to find in reference to the movie It. Well, those red balloons have made their way into the Division 2 game as well. Near West Ponomac Park, you can find a location to the sewers, climb down and jog through the tunnels, and inside you'll find a red balloon on the other side of some gates. In at number 3, the murals. There are giant murals scattered with ciphers painted on it. If you decipher them into English, you get a clue towards something. 
if you eventually figure it out. Throughout the Division 2 game, you'll notice there are large murals with some ciphers written on them. When deciphered into English, you'll receive clues to some pretty cool easter eggs in the game. The YouTuber Danny on PC transcribed one of them in particular, and it reads, Those who serve the good fight show reverence at night. Disable veterans in memorial six second salute to replenish honor. Following those instructions, if you travel to the veterans memorial and salute six times at night under the Capitol building, hunters will spawn to attack you. If you manage to kill the hunters, they will drop ivory keys and a mask. And the same goes for all eight murals. In at number two, Ubisoft Games. Early on in the game, you will unlock an upgrade to the theater settlement that brings a kind of a tad bit of light on this dark, dark apocalypse. To lighten the mood, the devs have dropped in some Easter eggs showing off their previous games. In the background, you can see some children enjoying the Ubisoft sword fighting game for honor. They also gave them some further options. The game Grow Home in a board game form can also be seen on the table next to the television. Lastly, in our number one spot, Flat Earth Theory. The administration mission just before moving to the third floor, you can see a little alien in the storage room chilling just outside of the main place. First up with this one is an alien that can be found during the Space Administration mission. Before you reach the third floor, you can scope in on an alien chilling in the storage room. And secondly is some flat earth easter eggs as well. After the first set of stairs, when you enter the main building, to the left is some computers. Turn on the computer, move to the next section, interact with the other computer at the end of the hallway, then upstairs in the next room, you'll see a photocopy machine. And when you interact with it, run upstairs to the next room. Be sure to check out the printer on your way up. Set up the satellite dishes. The machine will print out a flat earth map of the solar system. They don't stop there though, there is also references to the book Discworld when you move down the elevator shaft into the next area, as well as the flat earth model on the back of a turtle. By a turtle and elephants. I do have to say though, the materials on the turtle look so good. But anyway, that is all I got for now. I'm off to bed. And that has been the top 10 Easter eggs you missed in the Division 2. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, why not show us some love by hitting that like and subscribe button. Plus, comment down below if you've been playing Division 2 and spotted any Easter eggs that we may have missed. Also, for more videos like this one, just click that playlist on your screen. And don't forget to check out the rest of our channel as well. From Top 10 Gaming, I'm Johnny Rogers. Until next time, take care.